So this short video is going to be about the healing process. Now in your treatment at the end, I will have given you some feedback about how your skin has behaved. Uh, if you've perhaps been a little bit juicy, a little bit lymphy, um, and you will have been given some aftercare products like these, maybe one or both of them, um, and given some clear advice as to what your aftercare should look like, you'll also receive it via email. Now, you're all excited, you've had a big change to your face, um, you're like, yes, Debbie, yes, Debbie, but like walk out the door and the retention of that information is probably quite likely gone out the window because you're too busy <laughs> turning into a budgie, looking into any reflective surface to check out your new treatment area. And why not? You, uh, that, to be fair, is kind of where the where I would like you to be, feeling very happy about your treatment. That said, it is always important to know that there is a healing process and um, permanent makeup creates a very controlled trauma in the skin so you do have uh, tiny tiny wounds that have been created in a controlled way and the skin is going to go through its own natural healing process so this is why this video has been made is because it will help you in that journey of those maybe first seven to ten days so of course, when your treatment has first been done, uh, everything is very fresh. Um, the pigments in your brows, for example, is very much sitting on the, in, on the surface of the skin as it would be in any of the treatment areas. Um, so the color is very bold. There's no skin that has healed over the top of the pigment. Um, so everything is very fresh. Now, in the 28 days or so that follow your treatment, that is when the skin's healing process takes place. The first part of that process um, that you will go through is as the uh, treated area starts to heal. Now normally that is with the presence of lymph and this is the first stage in the healing process and is the underlying layer of any kind of scabbiness. Um, that you might experience. Now, some techniques or styles um, lend themselves to a bit more scabbiness and flakiness. So if you've had a very strong powder brow and there's been lots of work in the skin, um, despite my best efforts, there will still be some trauma, um, albeit minimal in the skin, um, but more so than some other techniques. So if you've been quite lymphy, and I'll give you some feedback on this, the microtonic is going to be your, I don't know if you can see it, is going to be your absolute best friend um, to keep that lymph off. Uh, for the first 72 hours, that's all I really care about what you do apart from maybe checking yourself out in the mirror. Um, so use your microtonic. They will appear a lot bolder and a lot stronger looking. So that's really likely to be in the first, you know, kind of one to three days. Any redness from your treatment normally goes down really quickly following your treatment. So I've had people go out for birthday meals, charity do's, all sorts of things. So you're not going to look um, scary, <laughs> but you will just, uh, that things will look quite fresh and quite done. Now from about day, anywhere really, from day three to day ten, depending on your individual skin, is when you will find the slight tightness that comes to the skin potentially um, and any scabbiness uh, or flakiness, um, one turning into the latter. Now, whilst you're going through that process, do not pick your skin, do not scratch, lift. Um, you can use the microtonic if you wish just to soothe the brows. You might have been given some after ink, uh, which is like a balm. Um, that just makes that skin feel a little bit more supple. So use the tools that you have um, and use them as they've you know, been instructed. There's a couple of other videos on that. Um, but you don't want to pick itch, scab or flake. Now, it is very normal for this to happen <laughs> in the skin. So don't worry, anytime um, people have concerns, 99.9% .9 of the time they are having an absolutely normal reaction to the process. 
um, like a mental reaction to the process, but their physical reaction is normally just very normal skin healing process. Um, once, I mean, the, the, that period will last maybe two to three days tops. Um, sometimes, you know, there'll be reasons why people last a bit longer or some people in fact don't even experience it at all um, and how, are like, oh, what healing process, completely blase about it, but it is very normal for you to have a few days of uh, flakiness at around a week to 10 days. You might find um, within the healing process, there are some cells called some macrophages and these are white opaque cells. So imagine this is the skin, we've put the pigment in underneath the skin, whoops, pigment in underneath the skin. The skin has come back over lymphiness and with the lymphiness after that comes these macrophage cells. Now macrophage cells are quite white and opaque um, so they can almost, and I find this in my lips, will completely hide my pigment in my lips until they have dissipated later on throughout the healing process. Macrophages come away and you're left with just clear-ish skin <laughs> um, over the top of your pigment at around 28 days to even sort of six weeks later really. Um, so if you find that your brows are feeling a little bit paler around the 10 days or as I say with my lips two to three weeks disappear completely it's all very normal it's, these are the macrophage cells doing what they do um, so bear with it if you've got any questions obviously do ask me but take comfort from this video that what's happening to you is likely to be like a hundred percent normal um, so no, no picking, no scratching, use the aftercare balm, use the microtonic, um, keep calm, carry on, drop me a message if you need to, because um, the only silly question, as we know, is the one that doesn't get asked. Okay, cool.